Hey guys. G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So it turns out my wife thinks that my microphone mounting location is silly. But, uh, like, at least you can't see it hanging off my shirt. It's inconspicuous, right? It's not. It's really not. But anyway, um, heaps of people were like, you should buy a labeler. So I've actually got one. It's from like 1964. Well actually, if I'm being... It's probably from 2000 and... 13, maybe 14. Hey babe, when's the labeler from? No, I don't even know why we have it. She doesn't know. I think I bought it for the fish tanks. I reckon 2014. Um, the problem with the labeler is there's no paper. Um, so my wife went to the shops this morning and beat the mad rush and got me um, Dynamo. Uh, what have we got here? We've got white plastic I don't know I don't know if it's shiny or not shiny this one's 60% recycled so we're looking after the earth um, but anyway let's put this in oh and also um, the wife I can just call her Angela you guys her name's Angela um, Angela has decided that she wants to film for the channel more and she's also been jotting down a notebook with video ideas for the channel so um, it's the first time that she's actually shown interest which is exciting for me I don't know if it's exciting for you guys but um, anyway let's try cut this open Alright, so cut this open. I want to know if it's a shiny one or the not shiny one, but can't find it anywhere. I think it. LT. I don't know. Plastic white. Who knows? Um, this one was like the paper one that's not shiny. So I'm pretty sure that this one says plastic, which will be the shiny one. This was paper. Yeah, it says paper on it, and um, when it used to get wet, the f it used to get ruined on the fish tanks. Um, so that's how much I've used this. That's the original roll that came with it. Um, all right, so that goes in there. Uh, I think I explained in yesterday's video what we're labeling. Um, let's see if it turns on. I guess I'll come around there and we can look together. Let's see what the last thing written in it was. Uh, hang on, a bit of light on the situation. Uh, on. What is that? 290. Lasagna. <laughs> pork. Veggie and pork lasagna. That means that you use this, babe. Alright, so I wasn't... That says 29th of the 8th, 21. I just told them that I haven't used this for years and it's got like how many like th two months ago date on <laughs> all right guys so um we're learning together that this has been used recently uh okay so the first one I want is um k where's z What, why is Z so tiny? K Z Z F cross F two or F F one F one. Where's the lip? How do I? Where's the numbers? One. So F one means F one child. So print. Why is there so much? Boom. Wait, it's on the ground. Alright guys, so I've got the tag here, but the problem is I don't really remember. So the good thing about you being a YouTuber is I can go back through my old videos and I can figure out which pair right by the dates. So I know the age difference. So I'm going by so what this means, KZZF means KZZ fader, which is this girl up here. And um, F1 means F1 from Charles, which is the boy that I gave to my friend. But basically what I want to do 
I've gone too far. I want to confirm that that's definitely the pair. All right, guys. This is a bit annoying. Turns out I'm a pretty bad YouTuber. <laughs> so this is the batch here, the first batch that I'm trying to sort out. And I showed the girl at the start of the video, but I didn't show the bo what boy is in the tank. And the boy that I've written here, which is F1, um, I saw that it's not in the tank at the start of the video, so... Um, we're just going to have to keep hunting. Oh, so that's the boy I thought it was. I don't know how well you guys can see, but that's not the boy that I bred. Oh, I'm actually... Hang on, do I show it? No. How cool is like the thumbnail feature on YouTube? Alright, so... There's the... Oh... He's there. What boy is it? I just don't show him that well. Um, I, it, I, I think... Well, no, I think. I know it's an F1 boy. Um, I might have to like watch the video on the computer. It never focuses on the boy. But... Yeah, yeah, it's an F1 boy, but it's not the one I was thinking. So, um, it's still F1 cross. Um, the main thing is just like, if I ever sell any of these, I want to be able to show the parents. So, um, let's go put this on the tank. All right, so it just took me like three minutes to realize that you squeeze it and the, and the backing comes up. So basically, I don't know where to put it. It can go over there. That's not straight. So that's KZZ F1. Um, I'm pretty stoked that it's plastic. Um, way better than the old label. Uh, so there's another KZZ F1 over here. So I'll reprint that. Alright, so this batch over here is also the same parents. Um, so I could probably put those two batches together they're pretty much the same size and they're both small batches um, next we've got the ones down on the ground here that are KZZ F Cross Richard we'll just do KZZ F Cross Rich um, I'm actually planning on moving these fish in the next day or so, so um, I really got to get on to that. They're getting to the point where they're thinning out because there's too many per liter of water. I would use that term. I've actually got to do a water change on it as well. Um, one thing, since getting the fish room floor um, almost dry slash dry, I used to just water change these straight onto the ground and now I feel kind of bad about doing it because the ground used to just be wet but now that it's not so wet um, I feel like I shouldn't just pour it onto the ground uh, what are they there the F2 cross fat boy uh, so that batch there um, so I did say loosely in a video that I'm not really interested in those fry. Um, so I don't actually, I don't actually let any flower horns outside of my room that are under eight centimeters. So um, I had quite a few messages saying that they would take them off my hands for cheap. Um, it's just not an option, and I've explained it before. But basically, uh, the reason is. If I let that batch go and then there's culls in there, the person that takes them then sells the culls. They've still got my name on it because I bred them. And basically that looks real bad for me because then people say people think that I've sold culls, which technically I have because I've sold them that small. Um, 
and it's just really bad practice as um, a flower horn breeder and it it hurts me to say no to these people because um, pretty much everyone that messaged me about it is a uh, YouTube subscriber and I love looking after the subscribers but I just can't do it. I can't do it guys alright guys so we've got KZZ cross F1 here these are the goods this is my KZZ girl in saying that my KZZ fader is just as good um, so every, anything with KZZ written on the sticker is bloody exciting to me um, so what's next what's next all right so this tank here is gold pay gold base fader cross if you guys remember the uh, gold base fader i had um the guy who's got it is actually trying to sell it so um if you're in perth and interested in my old big fader boy um he is available um yeah uh, well i presume he's still available i doubt he sold that quick but um I might not label the rest of this tank yet because I, I am doing a switch around switch around of fry in this tank. Um, maybe we might catch some flower horns. We'll do that in tomorrow's video. We'll sort through some flower horns. Basically there's some girls in here that I want to move out. I don't know whether to cull them or not, but um, yeah, that's a whole decision I've got to make. I don't want to sell them. But I don't know if I should cull them. But that's that's tomorrow's problem. Um, what else do we have to label? Oh, one more up here. Alright guys, so I think this is the last one I'm going to label for today. So this guy up here, he's the KZZ fader cross. Um, he is the best fish I've ever selected, hands down. Um, he's going to be an absolute ripper. I think I showed it in a video yesterday or the day before, but I'm so excited to watch this fish grow. Um, I normally don't fi select fish that small. He's only like three and a half centimeters, but um, yeah, he's gonna be an absolute ripper. If you look at him, he's the same size as the 25 millimeter pipe, if you wanna get a bit of size comparison. Um, I'm super excited. So the Ange just asked, why I don't label all of my tanks and I kind of brushed on it yesterday but if you didn't catch that video the reason we're only labeling the flower horn fry tanks and not all of my African tanks is because the Africans I know what they are um, as much as I joke on the channel about like not knowing pronunciation and not knowing scientific names I do know what every African is in my fish room I do know what every Madagascan is the only fish that I'm getting confused with at the moment is the flower horns. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight batches of flower horns from um, one, two, three, four, five, six different lots of parents. Um, obviously, some of them are combos of the same fish, but that's the only reason I'm labeling, labeling it because I can't just walk up to the tank and be like, oh, that's that species. And um, I think in this situation, it's really important to keep them figured out and what's what. Um, and I don't want blurry lines in my flower horn lines. If <laughs> the, yeah, that sounds kind of strange. Um, so the next thing I have to do is sort out these IBCs. Um, I'll probably make that tomorrow's video. Nah, oh, oh um, I, I'm gonna take some fish out of the IBCs in tomorrow's video. Um, I think, so I've made a decision. Um, what I'm gonna do, a bit of a sneak peek into the coming up content. I'm gonna select out a heap of F3s, none of the F2s. And then I'm gonna take all the F2s out of this tank. I'm going to cull super heavy and I'm only going to put the selects in with the F3s. I really need to cull the F3s as well. But, um, and then what that's going to do, the F3 tank is going to turn into a sales only tank. I won't breed from it because as you guys know, 
from here on in, my, my um, focus is breeding KZZ. Um, so I, I probably will breed F4. I've already got the pair selected for F4. Um, just because we've come this far, F3, I have to carry on. And the reason I'm selecting some F3 out of the tank before I put the F2s in is because if my F4 pair isn't, if my F3 pair isn't successful, I've got a few to choose from. All right, guys. So the label machine's just come up saying low battery. So um, I'm gonna have to put some new batteries in that. But I think I'm gonna wrap that video up there. Um, I think a lot of you will be excited to see the label machine. So the next thing on my list as far as something that people always comment is finding my infrared temperature reader. Temperature meter? What's the word? I don't know. But you know the yellow gun that tells the temperature of the water? I've got one, but it's in here somewhere. Um, I don't think it's in the house. I think it's in the shed. It's on that rack, I reckon. But anyway, um, label are ticked off the list. I know that a lot of the OGs are gonna be happy about that. Um, and look forward to tomorrow's video about uh, selecting out some flower horns. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna subscribe for more, hit that little red button down there, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.